Welcome to Chasing Curiosity TV. Subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. The world awoke to a seismic headline. Deep in the heart of Mindanao, the Philippines had unearthed a vast, high-grade deposit of rare earth elements. This was not just another mining story. It was a revelation that would send shockwaves through the global order. Digital billboards from Times Square to Tokyo, and even London's Piccadilly Circus, blazed with the news. This was no ordinary mineral find. The world's attention was instantly riveted, as experts and analysts scrambled to understand the implications. For decades, China's near monopoly on rare earths gave it immense leverage over global technology and defense industries. These elements are the backbone of everything from smartphones and electric vehicles to advanced military hardware, making China's control a strategic advantage. Now, Mindanao's discovery promised to disrupt that dominance, offering a new, strategic source for the world's most critical materials. Suddenly, the Philippines was poised to become a key player in a market worth billions, with the potential to reshape global supply chains. Geologists described the deposit as unprecedented in both scale and purity, confirmed by the Philippine Department of Environment and Natural Resources. The scientific community buzzed with excitement, calling it a once-in-a-generation find that could alter the course of entire industries. Global markets reacted instantly, stock prices of rare earth producers swung wildly, and tech giants scrambled to assess the impact. Investors and CEOs alike realized that the rules of the game were changing before their eyes. In Washington and Brussels, emergency meetings stretched into the night as leaders recognized the geopolitical stakes. The balance of power was shifting, and every decision now carried new weight. The Philippines, long seen as a strategic outpost, was suddenly at the center of a new global contest. Its leaders faced unprecedented choices, and its people watched as their nation stepped onto the world stage. This was more than geology, it was a shift in the balance of power. Every move now mattered, as countries recalibrated their alliances and strategies. The world's supply chains and the future of green technology now hinged on a nation few had expected. From electric cars to wind turbines, the race was on to secure these vital resources. The ground beneath our feet had shifted, and the world map of resources was being redrawn. The Philippines was no longer just a dot on the map, it was a new epicenter of opportunity and uncertainty. The discovery was a geopolitical game-changer, and the world was holding its breath. Every headline, every tweet, every market move reflected the magnitude of this moment. The shockwaves had only just begun. As the sun rose over Manila, a new chapter in global history was unfolding, one that would be written by the choices made in the days and years to come. The Mindanao discovery triggered a global scramble, sending shockwaves through capitals and boardrooms around the world. Governments, long wary of their rare earth dependence on China, suddenly saw a golden opportunity to diversify their supply chains and reduce strategic vulnerabilities. The White House and the European Union wasted no time, issuing statements that signaled their intent to partner with Manila and secure new, more resilient supply routes for critical minerals. The U.S. Geological Survey and the European Commission mobilized teams of experts, moving quickly to verify the scale of the find and explore strategic partnerships that could reshape the global rare earth market. In Asia, Japan, and South Korea, nations long vulnerable to Chinese export controls, welcomed the prospect of a reliable regional supplier just across the sea. Their trade ministries sprang into action, opening diplomatic channels and launching high-level talks, eager to secure future access to these vital resources. China's official response was measured and calm, but behind closed doors, analysts and policymakers recognized that their strategic leverage was now under serious threat. Global media ran non-stop coverage, with rare earths suddenly becoming a household topic overnight sparking debates about economic security and the future of technology. Tech giants and auto manufacturers began redrafting procurement strategies, holding emergency meetings to assess how this new supply could reshape their industries and reduce costs. The Philippines, once overlooked on the global stage, was now thrust into the spotlight as a key player in the future of technology, green energy, and global trade. The world had woken up to a new reality, one where Southeast Asia, and especially the Philippines, 
held the keys to tomorrow's innovations and economic power. The race for Mindanao's riches was on, and the world was watching every move. What exactly are rare earth elements, and why are they suddenly at the center of global attention? These elements might sound mysterious, but their impact on our daily lives is enormous. Despite their name, rare earths aren't actually rare in the earth's crust, but finding them in high enough concentrations to mine economically is a real challenge. There are 17 of these metals, each with unique, magnetic, luminescent, and electrochemical properties that make modern technology possible. They're in your phone screen, helping to create vivid colors and sharp images, in the speakers and cameras you use every day, and in the powerful magnets that drive wind turbines and electric vehicles, key technologies for a cleaner planet. These magnets are at the heart of the green revolution, powering everything from electric motors to renewable energy generators. Without rare earths, our digital world, filled with smartphones, computers, and data centers, and our hopes for a clean energy future, would grind to a halt. Rare earths are also crucial for national defense, used in missile guidance systems, stealth jets, advanced communications, and even satellite technology. That's why governments around the world classify them as critical minerals, essential for both economic security and national safety. The recent discovery in the Philippines isn't just about making better gadgets, it's about securing the very foundations of modern civilization and ensuring future prosperity. Access to these elements means power, security, and the ability to shape the future on a global scale. It's also a shot at a sustainable future where technology and nature can thrive together. The stakes couldn't be higher as nations race to secure their share of these vital resources. In many ways, the world's next chapter will be written with rare earths, shaping the technology, security, and sustainability of tomorrow. The Mindanao deposit isn't just big, it could rival China's own reserves. Early assessments suggest it's rich in the most coveted heavy rare earths, essential for high-tech and defense. With existing mining infrastructure in Mindanao, development could move fast. But the region's history of conflict and fragile ecosystems means extraction must be handled with care. The ore's reported purity could make Philippine supply highly competitive, attracting global investment. This is more than a mineral find. It's a strategic asset that could reshape global markets. The world is watching. Can the Philippines turn this windfall into lasting prosperity? The answer will define a generation. Mindanao's discovery could finally break the world's rare earth dependence on China. A new supplier means a more resilient, competitive supply chain for critical technologies. Tech giants and automakers now have leverage to negotiate better, more secure contracts. The find could spur investment in refining and processing outside China, building a full mine-to-magnet ecosystem in Southeast Asia. The Philippines stands to gain new trade deals, foreign investment, and a central role in global supply networks. ASEAN could emerge as a key hub in this new order. The simple act of unearthing minerals has set off a chain reaction, one that could rebalance global power. The dependencies of the past are being broken. A new era is dawning. For Filipinos, Mindanao's discovery is a beacon of hope. It's a chance to lift millions from poverty, fund education and healthcare, and build a modern economy. The government projects tens of billions in new GDP, fueling infrastructure and opportunity. In Mindanao, the promise is personal. Thousands of new jobs, a reason for young people to stay and build. The dream is a Philippines that creates wealth at home, not just abroad. National pride is surging, but so is the call for fairness. This wealth must benefit all, not just a few. The nation stands on the brink of transformation. The future has never looked brighter or more within reach. With great promise comes great risk. Rare earth mining can devastate the environment if not strictly regulated. Mindanao's rich ecosystems are at stake. The Philippines' history of mining disasters is a stark warning. Corruption and the resource curse threaten to siphon wealth away from ordinary people. Indigenous communities must be respected. Their land and rights are non-negotiable. Balancing economic gain with environmental protection and social justice will be the nation's greatest test. The world is watching to see if the Philippines can avoid the pitfalls that have trapped so many before. The stakes are as high as the hopes.
The Philippines is now at the center of a global diplomatic contest. The U.S. seeks to secure new alliances and supply chains, while China maneuvers to protect its dominance. Both will offer investment, technology, and influence. Manila must choose wisely. The EU, Japan, and South Korea are eager to sign deals, giving the Philippines unprecedented leverage. For the first time, Manila is a gatekeeper, not a supplicant. The challenge. Extract the best terms, demand high standards, and ensure local benefits. This is a chance to chart an independent foreign policy and build a coalition for responsible development. The great game is on, and the Philippines holds the cards. The world's eyes are on Manila's next move. The Philippines stands at a crossroads. One path leads to shared prosperity, good governance, and a sustainable future if the nation invests wisely and protects its people and environment. The other path is the resource curse, corruption, pollution, and squandered opportunity. The choice demands strong institutions, transparency, and partnership with local communities. The discovery is not a guarantee, but an opportunity, a test of national character. Will the Philippines rise to the challenge or repeat the mistakes of others? The world is watching, but more importantly, so are future generations. The decision made now will echo for a century to come.